and the cover-up has begun. You know, I just caught them dumping red-handed. Now they got a, a front-end loader here covering it all up. Killer Brew Inc. Kind of proves they didn't have the right to dump this shit here in the first freaking place. Yep, Killer Brew Inc. mix it all up to where you, you won't be able to tell much of what's in it. You know, that acceptable level of crap. So now I'm going to have to figure out where they're taking the rest of this stuff because they got a whole lot more horizontal drilling to do. And they're undoubtedly not going to dump here anymore because they've been caught. What a mess we have. And I've made phone calls, but of course nobody's going to call me back or show up to, uh, you know, in some co official capacity. And by the time they get done, the parts per million will be all mixed up and it'd be at some type of acceptable level. Because I did videotape them putting their additives in the slurry. Plus this is coming from wetland areas down at the bottom of the road right away, stormwater ditch. Which, who knows what's in that. Oil, grease, fluids, tire rubber, all kinds of contaminants. They've dumped it all the way back over into almost the roadway over there.
over here is where they had their loader. I mean, that's a sure sign that that loader bucket was stuck in here. The loader tracks, that's how deep the bentonite is. That they were spreading this shit out, trying to hide it last night. And all they're doing is spreading contaminants. You know, they, they spread it out enough, you'll never be able to tell how much is here or any of it, but it's all here. Believe me, I'm going to do everything I can to find the owner of this and a phone number. Spin it down, that's how thick the vent nine is. That a front end loader is getting stuck in it. Because it's slick, sloppy stuff. And it's so thick in here now, because they've been dumping for a couple weeks, that he can barely move through it. You know, he doesn't have that bucket stuck in the ground two inches. That thing should just walk right through, there, pushing that little pile. But no, because there's so much bentonite here, they can't. And it's not just bentonite. I, I don't know what else to call it other than purely slurry. dirt at all with that big old 938 loader and really all he's doing is he's mixing it up so the parts per million will be less that's what he's doing that's what he was sent out here to do should have no problem running through that. Get him another scoop of dry dirt. Cover up in action, man.
so we'll never be able to find the additives or any of the contaminants. You know, if it was just bent night and water and it was all safe, why would they be doing this? about a three yard bucket so this is going to make at least six yards of dirt and actually when it mounted up like that it's even more Every time they turn around on the other side of our entrance, they're tearing up the sides of the road. It looks like a cover-up, smells like a cover-up. It's probably a damn cover-up. And they do this everywhere they go. This isn't, you know, a one-time shot. And these guys think it's funny. I guarantee you these crews have never looked at the MSD issues on this ship and don't know what the additives do, nor what's in our wetlands. So there's at least nine yards. And with the pile on top, I'm gonna say this, he's, he's mixed in 15 yards of dirt to cover this up. They think it's funny, because they do this everywhere they go. This is common practice. 